Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. lined up to get the fertilising done on this field of potatoes. Down the outside first. Get the Problems with the PTO on here. There we go. But yeah, we've got top dressing part three today. We got rained off last time. Didn't want to be spreading in the rain, getting the fertilizer washed through too quickly. So we left it for today. Done. And then we can get the main body of the field done. We've got this field, the sugar beet, the field straight ahead of us, and the one across the road there, the RC brake field. Okay, well, this way the rolls, we will get to the bottom. Top dressing. Well, do the potatoes first, and the sugar beet. Pop into the other two fields. the 21st of May and should be able to get all the potatoes done we'll put the drone up so you can see what's going on on the farm not sure what jobs we should be doing Next time you join us, it's going to be something to be done, always something to be done on the farm. Potatoes fertilised, get the sugar beet fertilised, and then show sure what sort of jobs we will be doing for the foreseeable. Nicely. Right, we just want to set up 
the breeds left in here. We shall head across to the sugar beet field. short breeds in here to do. Yeah, one more breed down this way, one breed back. Join us probably be flat out with a wash day. All the equipment needs a wash on the farm. So you can see the sugar beet is growing well all across the field. Hopefully, get a good yield. Trees now all in flower. Almost, almost all in flower, uh, in leaf. Side. There we go. Yeah, that border, not the best of borders, but shaded nicely and disguised with those trees, so not all bad. on getting the pig farm. Not sure whether we can, probably rent it if we can. 
little sway forward. This one now. Right over, right over. And have a look round the yard. Next time you join us. Having some pigs on the farm will provide a bit of natural fertiliser for the crops. It will mean, I think there's two grass fields that go with it. So we may have to lease a grass mower. Telegraph pole, there we go. Nicely jogged up. Yeah, getting the big farm going, that would be, be great. Not sure how much it's going to cost to rent it or whether we can borrow some money from the bank to expand into pigs. know your thoughts on it. We could we'll prove that we can make money off what we've got and having the third yard to store stuff in and probably have some hay making to do as well would be good keep the farm pretty busy. question is to everybody, do you think we should take out a loan, have a look at how much the pig yard is going to cost and borrow the money to get it, we'll get a crop of A, which will be very soon indeed actually, the fact that we can get the crop away. Let's just have a look. And the pig yard comes with fields 70, 78 and 87 and the pig yard for 186,000. We have only got 53. But do we borrow? £200,000 or another quarter of a million pound. Not sure what we actually owe. We owe 380. So it's going to be like 625,000 we owe. Is it worth having a word with the bank manager? We would have to buy a few pigs straight away. We don't need no straw until winter because they will free range out in the field. It may well be a good proposition going forward. tractors or anything this year whatsoever. Get 
this belt finished, we'll pop across another loop. At the big yard. Take the Land Rover over there and see just what we get. Well, they almost, what, 190,000, give and take a few pounds. Probably one more round in here will just about do the sugar beet. 24% of our fertiliser left, so we should be able to get the field finished with what we've got in here. It's just a beautiful spring, late spring day, 9 degrees centigrade air temperatures, ground temperatures at 7, and with having a bit of rain help the crops to grow well because without the rain you can't grow, without the sun you can't and the potatoes fertilised. They spend the rest of the day sounding out the bank manager. Good work with the bank manager, see what he said, we've got two more fields to get fertilised. fertilizer in the shed. At least we'll switch that off there. At least we'll jump aboard the Land Rover. Go and show you what we will potentially have to work with over here. Crop growing pretty well. Should we'll be able to get these two fields done away from the camera. And not too far down the road before you get to the pig farm. There is a, a building here. This is the big farm. Someone's got a car there. That's possibility that he's retiring. He may wish to rent the yard. What's that? Yeah, you got the slurry pit. Big troughs, nice little yard that they can sort themselves out with. Water tank. Workshop over here, there's a shed there that could be actually used as a potato storage shed. That because the 
potatoes will come in handy for the pigs. And let's check on here, field 78 and 87. So field 78, this one. There's this field here, which is not massive. This field along it, I think it's part of field 78, but it's not growable actually. Just find the edge, and also we get in with it this field as well, I think. Um, yeah, that's 77 this is, that doesn't belong the farm, although we may see about getting that because it's through our yard so we may see about buying that field as well and it also gives us another arable field to harvest. So, let us know in comments whether you think we should purchase it. I'm not sure where you put the straw for the pigs, but... So, yeah. Possibility of expanding the farm a little. Possibility of getting three fields to go as well may mean may mean borrowing a little more than the extra quarter of a million. We won't be doing it won't be another vlog up for a day or two, so a couple of days. Next one probably what Friday. So uh, let us know what you think and we will see about expanding the farm just a little. And until you join us next time, all that's left says so that you've enjoyed this episode here on Greenwich Valley. My name has been John Greenway. Please give us a like give us a share, drop us a comment, some of our estates will pass your messages over to us. Um, thank you very much to some of our estates for allowing us to use their channel to put our vlogs up on. If you're new to the Summer Farm Estates channel and you'd like to see more of the work we do here, please subscribe to the channel, give that bell a ring, it will tell you when we do these videos. Until you join us next time, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye for now.